Hello, Kitty. Let's continue with the second series of sketch blogs about our big book project. If you've been following me at permanent third grade, then you must have seen sneak peeks of new pages I'm working on, alongside other visual storytelling experiments. In here, I will reveal the methods behind those experiments. This is where you get to learn with me. But just as we don't talk while our mouths are full, I tend to wait a while until I've digested my thoughts about the work I've done before I share them with you. In this series, I'd like to start with storytelling. Let's talk about how to tell a story for comic books. This big book project will be my fourth comic book, but unlike the previous books, this is my first attempt at telling a longer story. I didn't go to writing school, so my storytelling skills aren't informed by academic formulas or commercial techniques. I got into storytelling the way someone gets into playing the guitar by ear. I got into storytelling through reading novels and listening to short stories told over the radio. I don't think I've read that many novels, or perhaps I can only remember a few that were good. I started reading novels voluntarily when I was in my late teens. I noticed that there are a few novels that made me want to read every written word out loud, and it didn't matter how thick the book was. It didn't even matter if I had to pause to check the dictionary every now and then. It was fascinating. I kept reading until my mouth went dry. You know, in hindsight, this is probably why I was instantly attracted to stories made for the radio. Like those told in these podcasts, This American Life and Radio Lab. I'm usually never picky about the subject matter. It was the oratory style of storytelling that drew me in. Because now I can actually hear silence and breaks where the orator chose to rest in between passages. It's almost musical, like listening to a good song. What's your favorite song, Kitty? When you hear your favorite song, doesn't a part of you want to be able to play it with a musical instrument or to sing along with it? That's how it feels when I'm enjoying reading a novel or listening to a radio story. It makes me want to tap, tap my foot, snap my fingers, move my head, and come out of it wanting to tell my own story in the same spirit. When composing a new song, you play notes on a musical instrument until you find the melody you like. Similarly, when I compose a story for a comic book, I start off in speech. Not on the keyboard, not with pen and paper. I weave a story out loud to myself, usually when it's just me in the room. But I like to imagine there's a smart kid listening to me. And in the same way we tell stories to our friends over drinks, I make sure I use visual language, and I make sure I use sixth grade vocabulary, because there's no need to show off. We're just telling a story. Now, once I get the story going with momentum, I then start transcribing my spoken words in the computer until I reach an ending. Sometimes I get stuck in the middle. When that happens, I just lift my hands off the keyboard and I resume telling the story out loud again until I regain that momentum. And then I can return to the computer to write it all down. That's how I produce stories for my comic books. And that's probably not how comic books are written. I may be doing it wrong, but I'm going to keep testing it out until it stops working for me. All right, that's all for now. Have a nice day. Play your favorite song, and I'll talk to you later.